Hey there everybody, there's a uh, tank I just finished, this is an Achilles Pattern Land Raider. Uh, these were originally used by the Imperial Fist and uh, according to the fluff they're only used by successor chapters so being the Crimson Fists are part of that I picked it up and uh, I like it, it's a nice kit. Uh, it's pretty much the same as your typical Land Raider, except the center section here. Obviously, you got the big cannon on the front here. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. I added some bits and bobs, like the uh, chapter symbol on the front and on the two sides here. And uh, overall, it's a nice kit. Not too complicated. I mean, if you put it together Land Raider before, it's uh, pretty straightforward. And this isn't much different. The only thing you miss on here is you don't get a... Uh, these are resin pieces here, and it doesn't allow for the door to open. But uh, that's not really a big deal. It actually just saved me some time uh, having to paint the interior. At least most of it. I did do uh, some of the interior. Not sure if you'll actually be able to see it or not. But, uh, let's see if I have a light I can shine on this. Yeah. So the only part I really did was the uh, control panel and the floor and stuff you'd see through the door and the engine. Uh, but I didn't do the front. You can see the where the resin is. So you... I did, that's why I didn't put the guns in the back, because then uh, you wouldn't be able to open the door at all. So I decided just to put the guns on the front and uh, only painted up the control panel and the benches and the engine compartment in the back. I know most people won't actually see inside this, but uh, I guess it's just a peeve of mine. I like to be... it would bother me knowing it was in there unpainted. <laughs> so more work for myself, but just one of my little personal peeves. But yeah, overall uh, nice kit. Let's see if I can uh, add a Crimson Fist Tech Marine on top there. Put together some different parts to uh, give him a he's got an Auspex in his bolt gun there. Popped up out of the hatch. I try to do this on a lot of my vehicles. I actually have a guy on there. Just seems to add to it a little bit. Gives it a little more character. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the Achilles patterned uh, Land Raider. If you're looking for one, if you have a a uh, army that's Imperial Fists or one of their successor chapters, uh, according to the fluff, you can use this. I don't know if you really gotta stick with that or not. I'm sure anybody with an army could use it if they like. One of the other things I did do on here is uh, did some weathering on the steps and around the handle where people would open it up, and then on top, kind of uh, dirtied up, chipped the paint, or it looked like you know they'd climb up the ladder to get on top and either do work or get into the uh, top turret here. And a little other chipping here and there. Uh, a little weathering on the tracks. Didn't go too crazy. Uh, I like to keep my weathering. Yeah, I like to do some to give it some realism, but not get them too muddy. Uh, so, yeah, overall, good kit. And uh, if you get a chance, you know, pick it up. And I'll throw this on the turntable, give it a couple turns, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.